best thing in the world. <laughs> oh my god. Just enjoy life. <laughs> okay. It's not a bad life. Not a bad life at all. So um, I've got three little trees here. These are all um, these are all connected in some way, but um, this first one here is an apple, um, and this is actually a graft I did myself. Um, this apple tree consists of the rootstock, and then this branch here has been grafted on by yours truly. Um, I did this about a year ago, and obviously you can see it was a successful graft. It just grew right up, and it was actually that tall before I pruned it. <laughs> That's the top of it I pruned off. Um, and why you would do that is that you're trying to encourage this tree to branch more. This is very similar to the fig tree that I have in the front yard. Um, so what you probably can't tell but I can is that these little buds are much more enlarged than they were when I first did this pruning job. So what I know by that is that now that the leaves are gone there's been energy placed into these buds to send out branches, send out new shoots that are going to grow leaves and collect sunlight because that's what a tree does. That's how it gets its energy. So it's always going to try to produce leaves if you take them away from them. So that's my apple tree. It's going to be a Fuji apple tree. I'm really excited about that. I got to pick which one I grafted on and I'm like, oh, I love those Fujis. Grew up in Washington state. Love it. Um, avocado. And this is an avocado that I grew from a pit. A lot of people like to grow avocados from pit. It's kind of fun to, you know, get a cup and stick the little toothpicks in and stick it in there. And um, I was doing that quite a bit. And then I realized that it was getting really tricky to keep that level of water consistent in the cup. And if your pit dries out, then boom, it's not going to germinate. So um, I decided to try something new. I buried the pit in a pot of soil most of the way with just the top of it showing and the soil actually ret retained the moisture enough that it it germinated much faster than when I tried to do the cup thing so definitely worth giving it a shot if you've had trouble with that method in the past um, and this avocado tree um, is basically being grown for its rootstock just like this one um, because if you try to just grow an avocado tree from a pit it's gonna take probably like 10 years for it to start fruiting. And no one has that time to waste, right? So the other reason that you would, so, so what you would do is you would graft. Just like I've grafted this branch on, you would graft a branch from a mature fruiting avocado tree onto this rootstock. Um, so that is gonna ensure that you get avocados that very next year. Um, and also another reason for doing that is that um, you can't grow an avocado from a pit and guarantee that you're going to get the same avocado that you took that from. Um, it's just the way that they are fertilized um, and crossbred. It's, it's kind of complex with avocados, but basically the only way to ensure that you're going to get the same avocado that you're tasting is by taking a cutting from a live avocado tree. So I have a few friends who have fruiting avocado trees. It's hard to have them because obviously it takes forever. And I'm always, you know, trying to like butter them up. So if, if you have any friends with fruiting avocados, especially if they're delicious, definitely stay on their good side. And um, I'm probably going to wait until this is slightly bigger. I think the rule of thumb is you want it to be about the width of a pencil before you graft onto it. So I'm thinking maybe one more year and I'll, um, I'll do a grafting job. We'll, we'll do a little video about that. So this is a fig tree, as you can see, very obvious. Um, and... I bought this when it was about, it was a, just one stick about that tall. And um, then I took a class on fruit tree pruning and I learned that if you want to encourage low branching on your fruit tree, which um, you do want to do for many reasons, one of them is an easier harvest when the branches are closer to the ground then you can pluck the fruit from them more easily. Um, but it also, this pruning method of cutting it in half, which is what I did, encourages more branches, more production in general. So 
I, you can see I made a cut right here. And then these were all just buds. Each one of these branches was just a bud like this. And it came out, grew out. This all happened in one year. And these actually got 25% taller, each one of these branches. And then I just cut them back again just a couple days ago because now it's springtime. And you can see that we have buds coming out. These will become branches, the ones with leaves. And then these are actual figs. And probably over time, we will see more of these start to bud out as well. So the whole idea with pruning is to encourage this spreading growth, which um, leads to more fruit production in the end. This is my fig tree that I planted, gosh, maybe two years ago. I can tell by my cuts. So I made this cut this year. I made this cut last year. So, and I made this cut the year before. So that's this spring, that's so two years ago, three springs ago, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, it was just one little stick. It was about this wide and look at it now. Look at how thick that is. It's probably three times the width of one of these branches. Um, and it's got little figs on it. This is the Breba crop, which is um, the crop that grows on last year's wood. Um, now it's getting new shoots. So you can see these green shoots here. And these are also going to get a crop on them, which is the main crop of this year. Um, some people say that Breva crop is not as sweet. However, I did taste some Breva from last year and the year before, and they were not bad at all. So um, every single fruit that's come off this tree has been amazing. Um, and you can see how incredibly fast it's growing, how much it loves this environment. It's a great tree to grow in Southern California. And here is the avocado tree I grew from a pit. <laughs> it's taller than me. It's really, really grown in the past few months. Um, I don't know why we have this other plant right next to it, but <laughs> we're gonna move this and give it a little bit more room. Wow. There are some markings down here that look like it's being chewed on, which is really upsetting. You can see that the bark is completely um, demolished in these areas. So this is really an issue. It's going to, um, this could really introduce some bad infections and things into this tree. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. And you can see it's really developing these like strong side branches and you're starting to be able to see what is going to become a huge tree. Um, also, I've been keeping an eye on it to see how big the trunk is, how wide it is, because when the trunk is wide enough that you can take a mature fruiting branch from an existing tree and graft it, and it's about the same size, you should think about doing that. And I am thinking about doing it, except for this is so beautiful, isn't it? And it's amazing that I grew this from just a little pit from my salad making. <laughs> but, um, but no, this is, this is what it's all about. And uh, so stay tuned. Here is my Fuji apple that I grafted way down here. Um, I then trimmed it here <laughs> and it just grew another one. And then this year I trimmed it right here and you can see it's just growing another shoot here. So I'm starting to think maybe I wasn't paying enough attention during my apple pruning courses. Um, I do remember that apples have a central leader, meaning they have one prominent stem that just goes up and it branches out from there. So I'm thinking maybe now I probably should have left this to, to develop its central leader and then moved on to creating its side branches, which is exactly what my avocado tree is doing. All in all though, it looks like it's healthy to be here. Um, it's got a lot of new growth right here and there's a lot of buds along the sides that just look like they're ready to explode. So who knows, maybe this is the year where it develops those side branches. Hope. No aphids. <laughs>